day, grade 8 learners! It's me, Sir Tan Tan. It's a wonderful day for a new chapter. And for today's lesson, we're going to learn about the musical instrument of East Asian countries. Join me as we classify and recognize what are the musical instruments of East Asian countries. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to recognize the different musical instruments of Japan, China, and Korea. Before we proceed in identifying or recognizing what are the different musical instruments of East Asian countries, let us first classify them by first, the chordophone or the string instruments. Second, the aerophone or the woodwind instruments. Lastly, the third one, membranophone or the percussion instruments. Let us identify what are the different musical instruments of East Asian countries. First, let us go to Japan. Precaution instruments. Membranophone. First, Hokkaido, or big drum. The physical energy and sheer excitement of an Hokkaido performance is an integral part of many Japanese mature or Japanese festivals. Second, we have Tezumi, or an R glass shape. There are two varieties of Tezumi. The smaller one, named Kutzumi, is held on the right shoulder and the player alters the tone by squeezing the face. The bigger one is called Otsumi, is placed on the left thigh. The third one is Churidaiko. A large hanging barrel drum. The fourth one is Taiko, a Japanese drum that comes in various sizes and is used to play a variety of musical genres. Let us proceed to our string instruments or chordophone. The first one is Koto, a 13 string zither about 2 meters long and made of palwuna wood. It is plucked using picks and thumb and first two fingers of the right hand, while the left hand can be used to modify pitch and tone. Koto is used as an ensemble in gagoko or as a solo instrument. This is a picture of Koto. The second string instrument of Japan is Shamishin, a plucked string instrument. Its construction follows a model similar to that of a guitar or a banjo, employing a neck and string stretched across a resonating body. The neck of the shamishin is fretless and is slimmer than that of a guitar or a banjo. This is an example of shamishin. The third string instrument of Japan is biwa, a Japanese short neck fretted lute, often used in narrative storytelling. The biwa is the chosen instrument of Ben Ten, the goddess of music, eloquence, poetry, and education in Japanese Shinto. We will now proceed on wind instruments. Our first wind instrument is Sakohachi. The most famous flute made from bamboo. It has four or five finger holes on the front face and a thumb hole on the rear face. Second, nokan. A parallel bamboo flute is the only melodic instrument used in no. The melody of the flute has no specific pitch relationship with the melody of the chanting. Third one, hichiriki. It's a double red Japanese flute used as one of the two melodic instruments in Japanese gagaku music, the other being the ryotiki. Our fourth one is sho. It's a Japanese free reed musical instrument that has introduced from China during the Nara period. Fifth one, shinobu, also called as takibu. In the context of Japanese traditional arts, it's a Japanese transverse flute or flute that has a high pitch sound. 
our last wind instrument is Ryutiki, literally called as the dragon flute. It's a Japanese transverse flute made of bamboo. It is used in Gagaku. Those are the musical instruments of Japan. Now, let's proceed to China! Our Chinese musical instruments. Let's begin with Yukin, a moon-shaped lute with shorter neck and four strings, played with a spectrum used for accompanying local operas. Second one is Pipa, a four-string lute with 30 frets and a pear-shaped body. This instrument has an extremely wide dynamic range and remarkable expressive power. The third one is the air hook, two-string fiddle, and one of the most popular Chinese instruments. It is used as a solo instrument as well as in a small ensemble or large orchestra and by various ethnic groups. Fourth one is Yunlo, literally called as the cloud gongs or cloud of gongs. The Yunlo is a set of 10 small tuned gongs mounted in a wooden frame. The fifth one is Sheng, or also called as the Chinese mouth organ. Looks like a set of pan pipes with 12 to 36 bamboo pipes. Each pipe is a different length with a brass reed at the bottom and a hole that must be blocked in order for the note to sound. Our sixth one is Dizzy. It's a traditional Chinese flute. It can have a membrane over an extra hole to give the characteristic rattle effect. Seven, Zeng, an ancient Chinese instrument that has an arch surface and an elongated trapezoid with 13 to 21 strings stretched over individual bridges. Our last Chinese musical instrument is Pengling. These are two small bells made of high thin brunes without internal clappers and hemispheric or bottomless ground light shape. Annyeonghaseyo! That's how you say hello in Korea. Now, let's identify or recognize what are the musical instruments of Korea. We will proceed now to Korean musical instrument. String instruments. First one, Kayago or Gayagyo is a traditional Korean zither-like string instrument with 12 strings although more recently variants have been constructed with 21 or more. This is a picture of Kayago. Second, Gyumongo, six string plock zither. It's a traditional Korean string musical instrument of the zither family of instruments with both bridges and frets. Third one is Haigo, two string vertical fiddle. It has a rod like neck, a hollow wooden sound box, two silk strings, and is held vertically on the knee of the performer and played with bow. Korean wind instruments Peri It is made of bamboo. Its large reed and cylindrical bore gives it a sound mellower than that of many other types of bow. Last precaution instrument for Korea, Changu. It's the most widely used drum used in the traditional music of Korea. It is available in most kind and consists of an hourglass shaped body with two heads made from animal skin. Let's answer your learning task. Task number one. Classify the following instruments 
using the Hornbostel Satch system. Write your answer in your answer sheets. Learning task number two. On your answer sheet, answer the following questions. Number one, which East Asian musical instruments do you like most? Why? Number two, what is the importance of understanding the horn bostel Satch classification of some East Asian musical instruments? Number three, how would knowledge on playing East Asian musical instruments help you in exploring the sounds, most especially in creating improvised musical instruments? Learning task three. If you will make or create an improvised musical instrument inspired by East Asian music, especially Japan, China, and Korea, what materials do you suggest to use for the following instruments? A. In chordophone B. Aerophone C. Membranophone Note, write only one in each classification. Learning Task 4 in a bond paper, draw an improvised musical instrument. Then, list down the materials to be used. Material can be banig, kawayan, or etc. Specification, it could be soft, rough, sharp, etc. Learning Task 5. Identify the name of the instrument and its place of origin. Write your answer on your answer sheets. First, it is called a mouth organ. Second, it is a four-string lute with 30 frets and a pear-shaped body. Third, it literally means dragon flute. Fourth, it is a two-string vertical fiddle. Number five, it is a six-string zither. Learning task six. On your answer sheet, make a short essay on the question below. After answering the learning task in this lesson, what did you discover in Japan, Chinese, and Korean musical instruments? Read the paragraph below. Do this task on your answer sheets. Blank is a zither-like string instrument with blank, but recent variants have been constructed with 21 or more numbers of string. Chango is an blank body with two heads made from animal skin. Both heads produce sounds with different pitch. Blank is a big drum. The Udaiko performance gives physical energy and share excitement it is an integral part of many Japanese Masuri. Those are the different musical instruments of East Asian countries. Students, I hope you've learned a lot. It's me, Sir Tan Tan, saying, in every ending, there's a new beginning. See you on our next chapter. Bye!